And China has been the catalyst for change as well, right? The Tiananmen Square massacre, like quite famous. Um, and the image of the guy standing in front of the tank, just like showing how, you know, the human soul can stand up against power and tyranny and oppression, which is so strong in that country. And like Roxy said, you know, if you meet people or speak to people in China and they're all very much rule followers. Um, and it's kind of, you know, a lot of people here, United States, Australia, there's a bit more of a rebel streak. The whole world's gone to protests over the last two years and now they're going, no, enough's enough. And now they're pushed, being pushed by the energy, which is beautiful because they're taking their power back. And, you know, we've done it in all of our other countries and, you know, they're at that level of their awakening, their ascension journey where they are needing to be that rebellious because that's the shift that I guess you're talking about. So with today's session, we felt the call to go and do some light work on the planet at in China and channel uh, high frequency light down into their into their country and um, do some inner earth work below the surface of China as well to help the planet replenish and and have beautiful frequencies coming up from the ground. Because, you know, like we know, we've seen things being sprayed, you know, a lot of manufactured plastics and other goods have to be disposed of in that area of the planet. So where are they going? Are they breaking down? Probably not because it's plastic, right? And other other goods so and chemicals. So I think it just came in, you know, and, and it was beautiful naturally coming in that we would go and do some work there today. Um, as for this session um, to share our love and our compassion for them all that are going through a rough time I mean we're very lucky all of us we have we're you know and we've been all positioned in the right in these areas so it's not luck I guess it's just destiny and um, whatever you call it but you know we can they're still us they're still from source right everyone's playing a role on the big stage of this great awakening on the planet and, you know, whoever's in China, maybe they're meant to be there and that's perfect. It's their journey to stand in their power and say no to authority. And perhaps that's what their soul's lesson is this lifetime, right? And that's okay. So just taking, you know, I guess the, the compassion into it and sending love to them and using your supernatural abilities to, you know, remote view over there and we'll go on a journey into China. That's so all right, guys, so closing down into your bodies, feeling into your energy, taking a moment for yourself in your day today. Life's busy at the moment, so we're just going to relax into ourselves and feel our own energy for a moment, closing down the eyes and just gently taking some breaths through the nose, and just tuning into how you feel. Feeling into your beautiful body, your energies. Acknowledging your energies and feeling how they feel. Giving yourself a rate out of 10. How are you feeling at the moment? If you're tired or not. Feeling if you're high vibrational or not. Giving a number, a rating, tuning in your energy levels, good. And now we're gonna tune into your field, tuning in to see how you feel in your masculine or your feminine. And I like to see blue energy and pink energy in my aura field and how that kind of is balanced at this moment when you do tune in. Are you overstimulated in your masculine at the moment? Oh, are you feeling very divine feminine, feeling into that pink energy in your field now? And asking your higher self to guide you, feeling that balance. Good. 
and tuning into all of your heart centers now, feeling into your heart, opening the doors to your heart, holding your beautiful heart in your hands, visualizing this and imagining holding your heart, seeing how beautiful your light is, how delicate it is, how special you are, and taking a moment to acknowledge yourself. Just say, oh, I love you. <laughs> You're doing such a good job. Giving yourself some praise and accolades for all the things that you've been doing in this moment now. Good. If your mind wanders, returning back to the light, seeing yourself, looking at yourself and admiring who you are. And calling down your higher self into the center of your chest, calling your soul, calling all the past and future versions into this now moment, bringing all of your versions into your chest, into your center, into your light beacon in front of you. Good. Using the strength of all of your versions which we will need today. Okay, so calling upon all of the higher selves of the Galactic Ambassadors present here today, calling upon my higher self, Roxanne, and calling upon the divine source energy, the creator of all. Also call through the High Council of the Palladian Collective, the Ashtar Command, and the Galactic Federation of high frequency beings only for the highest and the greatest good of all here today. We also call through the consciousness of the planet Pachamama. And we ask for guidance and protection on our mission here today. We ask for healing of the planet and setting the intention to raise the vibration for love, unity, for China at this time. So now we're going to leave our bodies, remote view our consciousness across the planet from where you are stationed. Taking your awareness in front of you to the Stargate, to portal directly over to China through the Stargate. So visualizing, creating a golden Stargate in front of you, a round, beautiful Stargate, imagining and visualizing this. And when you step through on the count of three, you'll be portaling directly over to China from the air. And we'll begin our work on the count of three. One, two, Three, taking a deep breath and stepping through the stargate with your consciousness over to China, the beautiful planet China, beautiful country, <laughs> China. As we meet each other in the airspace with our consciousness gathering together in a circle above the lands, remote viewing and seeing and looking down now as you see the landscape of China. We're going to channel high frequency light through source. I can also see the, and gather, the, the Palladians gathering behind us in a circle. Just if you want to take your visuals behind you, we've got quite the army behind us in a circle and the Ashtar command is very present. So feeling them now. Some of you have your angel wings out, which is beautiful on your back. So we're going to take some deep breaths now and channel through light energy into the country of China. And the intention is for high frequency, raising the vibration for unity, peace, love, joy, for the civilians on the planet, on the country. I don't know why I keep going on the planet. <laughs> In the country, which will then have a ripple effect on the planet. 
So taking a deep breath and channeling through light frequency from your crown all the way down through your being and sending it into the country of China. Seeing and visualizing a white or golden light coming through your crown from source, an overflow of a channeled energy, a frequency from the higher realms, moving through you, exiting out of your heart and directly anchoring down into the surface of China, into the cities, into the waterways, into the souls, helping them rejuvenate, replenish their energy to give them strength and knowing for ascension. Seeing this energy creating this beautiful column of light coming from the higher realms. I can see this light, this column coming through the center of our circle all the way down into the country on the surface and just watching it as it has a ripple effect outwards. I can see it now, it's creating movement. There's a ripple like a wave. Taking another deep breath and channeling through gold frequency, source energy, love light into the country. getting guided over to the cities now. We're going to hover over the buildings and send this beautiful light frequency down the top of the buildings into where these people are being held under lockdown, sending them love, compassion for healing, some strength, some reassurance that they're loved and we are shifting and this shall pass as well. Sending your love to the buildings now. If you feel called to fly around and channel the light into all the different buildings, this is your time to go ahead and do that. A Palladian guide will be coming with you. <laughs> There's also some ships that are arriving over the cities. It feels like they are back up. I don't know if anyone else is seeing this. There's a lot of frequency that's coming out of the ships as reinforcement. Um, I can see green and blue energy coming from the ships. It's almost like a laser technology light that's pulsating into the buildings and to the, the earth to replenish. Yes, okay, so that's what I'm getting told. So Ashtar's here beside me on my left and he's whispering in my ears that the ships are here now to do the planet work, to replenish the soils and to break down the chemicals, the pollution, the plastics from all of the manufacturing and the waste in the inner earth. So just remote viewing and seeing these beautiful ships coming in, there's a lot coming in. Just keeping with your breath as you channel through this light frequency, using it as a laser coming out of your chest, through the crown, down through the third eye, with your intention to share your love as a conduit of energy for this beautiful, beautiful country, these beautiful souls that need us right now, who need our support, our reassurance, as our big brothers and sisters do for us.
There's also violet light, laser beams coming down from the ships I can see, and it feels very Andromedan and Octarian. So I'm gathering that more galactic members are coming forward. So I'm getting told now that they're going to be working with the waterways, the seas around the country to help the frequency and to clear the energy of pollution in the waterways so that people have clean water to help elevate their systems, their bodies. So using your intention, channeling through the light, through your crown, seeing the golden light coming down and into your heart chakra and spilling out outside like a laser into the land now. All of the lands, if you're feeling called to the waters, purifying any density that you see, dissolving the pollution, dissolving the chemicals, dissolving any frequencies that do not serve the human collective, replenishing with golden frequency from source. We're getting guided to turn to the military in China now, bringing your awareness, asking your higher self to guide you to the military to channel through high frequency love. And I'm also getting light codes, which are the remembrance of who they are, the remembrance of high frequency love and unity, togetherness, remembrance of source, and that we are all a piece of source having an experience, helping them elevate out of the lower frequency energies, out of the control manipulation, Tuning into the military now and channeling through golden light to help rejuvenate their souls, activate their souls into higher states of consciousness, love and unity. Dissolving the weapons perhaps with your intention, dissolving and creating peace over the weapons. Activating their hearts to have more compassion for the people on the ground. Using their discernment in every situation for peace and unity and love. Looking at the military now and channeling through your light frequency. Using your hands if you have to, to spread this out across the country on the micro. smearing golden light across the whole country. In particular, the military, the people that work for the powers that be playing a role, setting their souls free, letting them know that there's another way. Activating their beautiful heart center, their higher mind. There's a lot of extraterrestrial connection here. <laughs> a lot of support. A lot of you will be feeling this behind you. Now we're going to be turning our awareness over to the powers that be, the government structures. We're going to see the government structures, the souls, <clears throat> and we're going to channel golden light over to all of these corporations, the ones that are in control, activating their beautiful souls. They're a spark of the divine, just like you and me, playing a role, letting them know about love and unity, which they've forgotten about. They've been trapped in manipulation, greed, and power. Let's send them forgiveness, send them compassion, send them love and unity, peace, 
reminding them of this frequency that we can all walk into at any point of our a journey. Find it in your heart to channel this light through to the government structures, helping dissolve any frequencies around them, any entities around them that are controlling them and making them act and behave the way they are helping their soul be activated in this time, focusing on the government. There's energy flows that are linking back to America at this time that I can see from China. So if you see them, dissolve them with the frequency of the uh, golden light as well. Good, you're doing so well. With your intention, you're so powerful. Noticing anything that's flocking out of the government as we tune into them and send light frequency. There's a few bits and pieces flying out <laughs> as we do not tolerate this. And we show them that we can see what they're doing. They cannot hide anymore. The Octarians are going to be placing a circumference of love, light, energy that will be set up over the coming months over the top of China, this continent, which will keep pulsating frequency down to them. It's an advanced technology, like a radiation going down, but of a high frequency. It's coming from the eighth dimension, they're telling me. And it's like a laser light pulsating and helping them activate little by little, not to over-circuit their systems, but just little by little activating them, reminding them of the divine, reminding them of the higher purpose, why they're even here on the planet at this time of the great awakening. So seeing that, if you can see that, it's a big purple dish over the top of the country. We're now going to turn our awareness down into the inner earth, underneath the planet, in, in the inner earth, underneath China, Flying down, remote viewing your consciousness, see how you go here. Going down, down, down. Remembering that your light frequency, the highest vibration. And just get a feel for what you feel down under the earth of China. Are you getting blocked? Are there underground facilities? Just remote viewing at this stage, seeing what you can see. I've stumbled across a whole lot of advanced technology on the inner earth um, in a facility, which doesn't look harmful. It looks like it's used for excavation under the tunnels here. And I'm getting that this is a major plant, one of the major depots, so to speak. If anyone else is seeing that, um, perhaps that's what you're seeing. So we're going to work with the earth now with Pachamama. Okay, and we're just going to hold the inner rocks or earth that you've come across. So feeling the texture, asking your higher self to show you what part of Pachamama on the inner earth you're going to work with. And just doing the same thing, visualizing and seeing gold life force energy coming through your crown, down out your heart, placing your hands on the inner earth, the layers, the rock, the dirt, the soil, the clay, the waters, 
feeling into what you feel and just sending love to Pachamama. Thanking her, showing compassion, feeling her strength. Channeling in light to the beautiful planet that holds us all. It's dedicated the soul to incarnate as the planet this, this lifetime for all of us to be nurtured. It's very powerful. So seeing that light going into the inner earth, fertilizing the grounds, the textures of the earth, activating more of the beautiful second dimensional frequencies, helping it transfer up into the third density now as we all are ascending, letting the earth know how proud you are and thanking her for holding you over and over and over again. Thank you, thank you, thank you, beautiful earth. Pachamama. <laughs> thank you for putting up with us while we deal with our own issues. <laughs> we pray and we ask for unity and love once again in higher states of consciousness of peace and joy. Beautiful. So we're now going to leave the inner earth and transcend your frequency back up to the skies. We're going to work with the skies, removing any dust particles of pollution that you might find over the cities in the skies, dissolving it with your intention, perhaps gathering it, putting it into the sun to tr be transmuted, to be alchemized perhaps. Maybe you're seeing it from an aerial perspective, gathering, sweeping in the pollution, putting it into a dustpan, sweeping it all up, helping the skies be replenished of its pollution. Good. It feels a lot more freer now, this energy here. And as we finish up our work here today, we're going to stand in a circle, holding hands with each other. I'm going to receive this beautiful energy from our extraterrestrial guides, our big brothers and sisters. Some sort of light codes are being dropped into our crown. I can see multi-colored multi actually. Rainbow light. This is a beautiful gift for you for completing this task today. Feeling into this. Are you hearing anything? Perhaps you're seeing digital codes. Just taking a moment to breathe that in. Good. And now just thanking them, thanking the Palladians, thanking Commander Ashtar's command, thanking the Octarians, the Andromedans that were present here today as well. And thanking each and every one of you for standing strong in this light mission, helping your beautiful brothers and sisters in China, helping the planet, opening your heart to this work. I thank you very much for joining us today and turning around now, <clears throat> seeing your stargate to return home, visualizing your stargate and on the count of three, we'll step through and walk back into our body in physical 3D on the count of three. One, two, three. Taking a deep breath and stepping through the stargate walking back into your body, feeling the energy of your soul coming down through the crown, your shoulders, feeling into your belly, your hips, your legs, and just wriggling your toes, 
wriggling your fingers, bringing your energy back into physicality, taking a deep breath perhaps to merge the bodies back together. And when you're ready, opening your eyes, coming back to the screen.